Hello everyone, Christopher here with McWayne Science Center, and welcome to SciSparks. Shrink Rays, a staple of B-movie mad scientists and comic book supervillains. But are they science fiction or science fact? Well, in today's episode, find out how I turned this into this. All we need for today's experiment is a chip bag and a source of heat. And to get that heat as quickly as possible, I'll be using a microwave oven. But remember, chip bags are not microwave safe. And if done incorrectly, this experiment can be dangerous. So please, do not try this at home. Whoa! Almost immediately our chip bag sparks, and just as quickly it's shrunk to be barely any bigger than a postage stamp. Alright, now that it's had time to cool, let's take a closer look. <laughs> look at that! It's so tiny! And yet, you can still read the nutrition label and everything. Wow. That's a lot of sodium. But. How is this transformation even possible? Well, to understand that, we need to understand how chip bags are made. Chip bags are made out of polymers, just like this rubber band. Polymers are long molecules linked together like a chain. And in their natural state, those polymers are squiggled up tight and compact. Ow. But unlike our rubber band, which is flexible at room temperature, our chip bag at room temperature is rigid. So, during manufacturing, that chip bag material is heated until it, like a rubber band, can be stretched, giving it its larger flat shape. And it will keep that size and shape when it cools down, like a rubber band in liquid nitrogen. However, when we heat the chip bag like we did in the microwave, those polymers become flexible again and return to their natural squiggled up state and presto, tiny chip bag. Well, that's it for today. If you enjoyed this bite-sized episode, leave us a like and subscribe for even more like it. If you want to learn more about polymers, we've done videos on the subject before. Find the links to those in the description below. Until next time, Bye.